Uh, this is the Zhejiang University of Science and Technology located in Hangzhou of China. And what is this university and where it is located? For today's presentation, I will divide it, it into three parts. First, and where is Zhejiang and Hangzhou? It is where our school is located. Zhejiang is the name of the province, while Hangzhou is the capital city of Zhejiang province. So we will start with the location first. Then we will move to the school part. And this is the abbreviation for Zhejiang University of Science and Technology. And lastly, we will introduce the internationalization strategy of ZUS so that you can better understand why we are confident to invite you to study at ZUS. We will start with the places where our school is located, then move to the school introduction, and then at last, the internationalization strategy. And uh, Zhejiang, actually, it is very near the Shanghai. We all know Shanghai. For Zhejiang and for Hangzhou, it is around like 160 kilometers away from Shanghai. If you go to Shanghai from Hangzhou, it takes like around 15 minutes by high speed train. But we have our own international airport, which is called the Xiaoshan International Airport. For, um, you may not know Hangzhou or Zhejiang before, but actually its economy is well developed in China. For Zhejiang GDP, it ranked fourth in China. We all know that China is a very big nation, but for Zhejiang, we ranked fourth. So we can see the economy here is well developed. And it is located along the eastern coastal area and with booming industries and very beautiful environments. Right now, the pictures, there are some pictures about the West Lake. Yes, Hangzhou is famous, most famous for its West Lake. This is the, the, the left top one is the uh, a pagoda, very famous here. This is also the West Lake with the Baochu Pagoda. The snow views in the winter is very beautiful. So although I was not born in Hangzhou, but I love Hangzhou to death, I would like to say. And this is the modern Hangzhou. This is the, uh, the downtown area of Hangzhou. So judging from the light, and we can see it is very developed and the economy is booming. This is the place, this is the place where we are going to, um, we are going to have the Asian Games this year. Yes, Hangzhou is the host can, uh, in the host city for the uh, 2023 Asian Games. And the lotus shaped building will be the one holding the Asian Games. And back in the year of 2016, Hangzhou is also the host city for the G20 Summit, the G20 Summit. So we can see that actually Hangzhou is, is not developed economically, but also internationally. But actually it is also very diverse in its culture. It is the city of tea and also the capital of silk. If you come to Hangzhou to visit, remember to have a taste of the tea and to uh, to share to bring some gifts and of silk to share with your friends. These are some scenic sports in Hangzhou. A very Chinese, I think. When you see this one, you will feel it's very Chinese. And also, and for the economy, we also have many, many uh, large corporations. For example, the Alibaba, whose mission is to make doing business not difficult. It is located right in Hangzhou. And it takes around like half an hour and from our school to Alibaba. But Alibaba is only one big corporation in Hangzhou. We also have the Gili Auto Group, Hailiang Group, Wuchang Zhongda Group, etc. Gili is a car manufacturing and research and center here, Hailiang Education. And for the Wuchang Zhongda, it, it, it ranked 120 globally uh, regarding its wealth. Then we we'll, we'll move to the uh, school part. And for this, and we are founded in year of 2019. And so now we are uh, like 43 years old and we are a multidisciplinary, we are a multidisciplinary university featuring arts, engineering, et cetera. And we ha now have carried out and we are, or we are 43 years old, but and we we have 29 29 years international education experience, and we ranked we ranked 24 so regarding the proportion of international students out of the total ones in China, and also we are we stand at five in Zhejiang province regarding internationalization. And right now we under the nationalities of international student students added up to uh, 114 114. Uh, right now. Now we have students coming from uh, coming from along the Belt and the Road, and like eighteen hundred and twenty-eight. 
So judging from the numbers we can see, we are very fruitful. And this is the development history of Zeus and starting, starting in the year of 1994. And in the year of uh, 2022, we established our first overseas, uh, uh, overseas schooling project called the, uh, Con uh, called the Confucius Institute. And called the uh, sorry the, the the other one provided in collaboration with Malaysia. We have two campuses. One is the Anji campus, and the other is Xiaohehshan campus. And this is the Xiao uh, Anji camp uh, Xiaohehshan campus. This is the major one located in Hangzhou, and this is also the the uh, Xiaohehshan campus. We do have real water and the mountains right inside our campus, so we can see this is a very beautiful country. This is. Uh, this is very Asian style building. It is at the back side of our school and where we used to invite guests to have a, have a cup of tea. This is in Anji, Anji campus. Anji campus, it is, very, uh, it is a newly built one. So we can see the architecture is very modern. Also the, the Anji library. And in total, right now, we have more than 2,100 international uh, students. This year, we have eight, eight English-taught bachelor program and five English-taught master program, as well as some Chinese-taught ones. And out of all the majors and disciplines, in total, we have 56 undergraduate majors. And uh, out of which, 30 are about the engineering ones and with a lot of uh, meeting a lot of accords and in different areas. This is a list of the schools and the institutes of our school. And the yellow ones, they are the ones we, uh, which have offered English taught program for international students. We also are the first one to pass the quality accreditation on international students, students education in the year of 2016. And right now we are undertake, uh, undertaking the second round of quality accredit accreditation on international uh, students education. And we have profound cooperation relationship with the Germans and we have different platforms, the Confucius Institute and the Sino-German Promotion Center, etc. So if you come to Zeus to study and may, you may have a chance to pay a visit to German university, uh, to, to German universities as exchange students. The third part will go to internationalization, internationalization. And here we can see, this is a graph and uh, it, it displays the growth of international uh, stu stu student education in the name of degree one and the total one. And why the total one is more than the degree one? Because for degree stu 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 students, it means that when they completed the study, we will award a certificate to those. And But we also have the Chinese language program, which lasts for one semester or, or one year. For this program, the, we will not grant degree, but only a completion certificate. In the year of 2022, the nationalities of our international stu stu student students, we can see uh, the right now, and the largest proportion of international stu students come from Indonesia, then come uh, then Morocco, Zimbabwe, Vietnam, Nigeria, Thailand, Zambia, etc. So we can, but anyway, we can see the nationality is very diversified here. And in total, we have, as I have mentioned, 114. These are the majors, and we will uh, go through one by one. And for the English, English taught ones, and we have English taught undergraduate program. And if you are interested in business, you can try to select the International Economics and Trade or International Business. If you are interested in the engineering ones, you may choose others. For example, civil engineering, computer science and technology, big data and data science, food science and engineering, robotics engineering, di digital media technology, etc. For English taught postgraduate ones, and and we have civil uh, and four of them are about four of, uh, they are mainly about engineering. For example, civil engineering, chemical engineering and technology, intelligent manufacturing and control engineering, applied statistics, advanced manufacturing and informatization. And besides the English taught ones, we also have the Chinese taught ones. For bachelor, we have to namely the Chinese language and literature and the international economics and trade. For the uh, postgraduate postgraduate program, we taught in Chinese. We have the master of teaching Chinese to speakers of other languages. These are some of the pictures of our uh, uh, st students studying. And the, and the left one is the civil engineering. The right one is mechanical engineering. This is our teachers taking the stu students to the companies to the company to have a look to visit how the company works. 
I think kind of the most important part, most of you may be concerned about the scholarships. We, ha we have a diversified pool of scholarship and uh, the most important one, of course, comes to the full scholarship. And for the source, under the full, under the full scholarship, we have the Silk Road Scholarship, Chinese Government Scholarship, Confucius Institute Scholarship, etc. They are the, they are under the category of full scholarships because they do not only cover tuition but also cover your accommodation insurance and will give you extra living allowance. And for for the for this ones, the Confucius Institute scholarship it is still going on. And if you are interested, you can email me and uh, email me and after the meeting. For the Chinese government scholarship, we for the at the master level it has been closed, but for the bachelor level it is still open. But you need to have HSK five to apply for the Chinese government scholarship at the bachelor level. And besides the uh, the full scholarship, we also have other type of scholarship. For example, the Zhejiang Provincial Government Scholarship for international stu students. And if you uh, want to apply for a master's degree, and if you are qualified for the scholarship, you will be granted 30,000 RMB. If you want to apply for bachelor, it is 20,000 RMB. The third type of scholarship is the scholarship for outstanding new students of Zeus. If you are awarded the first prize, then congratulations. Uh, you will be given uh, the amount same as your uh, same as your first year tuition fee. And if you are awarded the second prize, then and it's equal to uh, seventy percent of the first year tuition fee. Third prize, uh, fifty percent, and the fourth prize, thirty percent. Here are here are the accommodation. You, you can we have two uh, we have two types of buildings. One is Ting Song and the other is Dong He Dormitory. For Ting Song Dormitory and the single room charge is one hundred and twenty RMB per month. And for double room and for two students, students it is charging six hundred RMB per month. For Dong He Dormitory, it's a little bit cheaper. And for single room, it charges 800 RMB. And for double room, it charges 400 RMB. Although other charges, for example, uh, room deposit will be required. But for this one, and when you check out, it will be returned back to you. Here are some pictures of our, uh, of our uh, facilities, the canteen, the, the dorm. And because we have seen a, a development history of 29 years, and so now we have produced a lot of outstanding alumni. For these students, we are very proud of her. And she comes from Pakistan, and right now she is pursuing doctoral degree in Sweden. And she published a lot of uh, a lot of articles of uh, high influential actor and uh, high high uh, influ uh, high impact index, which is very important for master's students. For these students, we encourage students to, to go out of the campus to try to explore, and for and also we will provide all support as much support as we can uh, for st students to find the internship and the job. And for this for these students, his name is Gaston Mwewa, and from Zimbabwe, he is the first of a student to receive the personal affair records permit in Hangzhou since the policy is implemented in the year of 2017. And meanwhile, while you are uh, still a st student at Zeus, we will also organize a lot of activities, a lot of academic competitions so that you can have enough time to practice yourself. For example, for this one, the this is uh, we have established a lot of entrepreneur entrepreneurial practice base and also we will take you and guide you to participate in entrepreneurship competitions. We are our school and has stand out in, in among all the other Chinese universities for international education, especially in this kind of competitions. We have helped uh, students to acquire the gold the gold medal, the uh, silver medal, etc. Then how to apply? And you can uh, ask for the help from our partner and the China Mission for, uh, for guidance, and also you can check the online application link. All our application is carried out on the uh, uh, is carried out online. And what are the requirements and what documents will be required? And basically, I think for bachelor program or for master program, they are the same. Which differs is that if you want to apply for bachelor program, of course you need to present um, the high school graduate graduate certificate or A level or others. And for master applicants, you should present your degree certificate. The, the bachelor degree certificate or, 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 or others equivalent. And 
this will be the biggest difference. For others, it will be like you need to submit your uh, your, your passport page, your non-criminal record, and the, your language uh, proficiency certificate, and 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 the physical physical form, statement of financial support, etc. And it seems that there are quite many documents, but there's no need for you to worry about at all. You can either to seek the, uh, the guidance or assistance from our partner, or you can take, take a photo here, or you can email us later. And, but actually in the system itself, it will guide you through how to do the, how to uh, make the application. So it means if you want, when you log in the application link, the website itself will, will guide you through how to, uh, how to do it. Okay, lastly, I would like to share a few more photos of our university so that you can have a uh, better understanding, uh, have more understanding of what it will be like to study at Zeus. And, and meanwhile, I would like to suggest you to maybe you can take a photo of this page uh, so that in case you, you have some question to inquire. And we have listed the email address here, the website, the mailing address, the, 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 the telephone number, etc. Thank you. Thank you so much, Grace, for your presentation and for representing ZUST here today.